when it comes to an award like this, you know, when you find out that you win something like this, you are like, no way, like, really me? We have the privilege to honor an incredible group of student scholars. For the past two years, we have done this remotely, and this year, we are excited to have the opportunity to be together to honor them live in person once again. Not only are they excelling in the classroom, they are making their communities better through their service, advocacy, and perseverance. Each of these students come to the university on separate journeys, and many have overcome hardship and hurdles to do so. We are extremely proud to honor their success and their resiliency. Being able to focus my time instead of like finding other scholarships and finding other ways to generate more income. I'm now able to at least start increasing my focus into my project, The Brothers in Color RSO. I reached out to a lot of past students who are alumni and they were encouraging me to get you know, in touch with um, First Nations, Washable at the Intellectual House, and the American Indian Student Commission, which I'm an intern for. So once I got on campus, I Definitely jumped at the opportunity to be able to connect with people in person, was a lot less shy, you know, from not being behind a screen anymore. The experiences that I've had inside the classroom and a lot of the knowledge I've learned has actually been compounded by experiences I've had outside the classroom as well. So stuff I'm learning in my biochemistry course, I'm applying in the lab when I'm doing my research. I grew up in a very conservative family and my parents, they object me uh, of going into college, of pursuing higher education. That is why when I got the acceptance letter to UW, I was oh, like, I was both excited as well as scared. But at the same time, with my, without my family support and being an immigrant, I am pretty much alone. It just feels really good as a student who does a lot of work behind the scenes to advance racial equity at the graduate school level to be recognized for it and to be celebrated and seen. Having access to information and resources around campus because um, it can be kind of overwhelming to be at such a big university. So I think it's really helpful to have a community like that to reach out to you about things you may not know about, so it's very insightful. I started in EOP through OMAD and came back to it and can show how much I've grown from there. <laughs> this scholarship is a really good opportunity for me to finalize my studies at the University of Washington. Their faith in me also boosts my confidence and faith in myself that I can also achieve my college goals. As a formerly incarcerated student and also a father, um, every scholarship I get is not only just validating to like at, in industry and out in the workforce, like I have to explain my background so much and then uh, college for me, scholarships have really been like the confirmation that I do belong here and that uh, you know I'm worth investing in as a student and also an employee down the road. Any hours I don't have to work to fund my education is that much more time I get to spend with my family and like share this experience with my kids and hopefully like foster you know an environment of learning for them. Just that it's like never too old to like recreate your life. Um, the experience of the people I've come behind that uh, you know have walked similar paths uh, is it's just shown me that uh, change is possible, so it's really opened my eyes to like, if, if I can change, and I know that for a fact, then I know others can change. When I would look back like in my teachers, I never really saw anybody that looked like me or had similar experiences to me, and that definitely makes a difference in like the connections you make um, within academia and like your connection to what you're learning in the classroom, so I aspire definitely to embed that more into um, people's education volunteering for the past two years since COVID started. And for me, it's been a very meaningful experience. Our center serves a lot of immigrant, low income, and especially under un uninsured patients. I wanted to come to the University of Washington because I was born and raised in Seattle. And the University of Washington has always been my dream to come be. I, I don't know, <laughs> it's just the best school in the Pacific Northwest. Supporting this scholarship you know, you're providing visibility and opportunity to individuals and communities who are so often subject to erasure and silencing and like violence in all of its forms. Les quiero agradecer a todos los que han hecho lo posible por entregar esta beca por mí y a otros estudiantes como yo mismo. Muchas gracias.
uh, with a scholarship like this, uh, we can make our dream come true. And it is really important uh, for us to have this kind of opportunity. Thank you to the Office of Minority Affairs and Diversity for choosing me for this recognition. It means a lot and has been a hallmark of my experience at the UW. Thank you for this scholarship. Thank you for this scholarship. In uh, Hawaii, which is where I'm from, we say Mahalo Nui Loa e Ke Aloha Pamehana, which means thank you very much and then like sort of from like my deepest gratitude or love.